Hello everyone, welcome back to Computer Science and Fangs. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Computer Science and Fangs. Today I'm going to be showing you how to basically um, how we're going to what are we doing today? Well, we're, I'm, w the plan is I'm going to make a project here and this project is going to contain information about how to make requests to servers and whatnot using Python. Um, the project we're going to be doing today is um, pulling ISBN numbers from every po from posts in craigslist.com. So if you go to craigslist.com and we go to, do, 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 let's wait for it to load. It's a little bit slow right now and my connection failed. Hopefully we can get this working. Okay, good. So if we go to books and we look in the book section, we kind of see that, you know, there's some stuff here and uh, yeah, there's some, you know, titles and whatnot and blah, 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 you know, stuff like this. But what I want to do is I want to scrape this website for ISBN numbers and their, the prices that they're being sold for. Um, da, 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 da. So it looks like not many people put the ISBN in the titles, which is unfortunate. Um, so we can't just go page by page. Um, what about if we look inside of here? They do get the ISBN here, it looks like. Um, looks like they copied and pasted the freaking Amazon description page here, which is unfortunate. Uh, oops, went too far back. So, it's like this one right here, security awareness. Yeah, they see they put the ISBN here and they also put this ISBN here. Uh, it's like uh, this is forty-five dollars. It's probably you know the same price as Amazon. We'll see though. And basically, I'm going to just show you how to start you know your request a your requests uh, program that we're going to make here today. Um, right now, I'm just giving an introduction to what the project is going to be like. Uh, right now, we're going to do Amazon. We're going to see what the price of this book is, see if we can make a profit off of it or not. Um, but we're not going to use the Amazon API because you need a website to, in order to access their product information API. Right now we're just going to try to pull the ISBNs from Craigslist and then later on once I get the Amazon API working, then we might do that too. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, see... To buy is only $108, actually. Hmm. What if we go to, yeah, see, if you look at the third party sellers, it's about $30. So this guy is overselling it by, seems like about $45 by $10. So yeah, it's not good to sell here. But I think uh, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get eBay.com working here. So we're going to check the same thing in eBay. It takes a second for my internet to work. My apologies. I'm probably going to cut this out. Unless I have something interesting to say, of course, um, which I might keep that in. <laughs> We're going to check for that ISBN. So um, in order to get a feel of what's going on here, so we have the domain name here. We have the uh, requests being done here. So the query from R40 and TRSK, blah, 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 blah. With eBay has an API, though, so we can use that here. Um, best thing you can do is look at sold items. So these are completed listings. So they sell for about, let's see here. And this is, um, is this new? This is pre-owned, okay. Pre-owned. Uh, looks like they sell for about anywhere from, yeah, well, let's say uh, we want pre-owned here. So used, oh, they're all used, looks like. So they sell anywhere from twenty-one to seventy dollars. It looks like, um, man. Hey, so this is buy it now too. So it's pretty good money actually. So this guy could be what he's doing is going to Amazon, listing these for sixty-five dollars and selling them to people on here, and then having the shipping from Amazon to drop shipping from Amazon to these guys because he's making a good bit of money right here. Look at that, seventy dollars. In December and then it's five on the 5th of January 
how many complete okay so let's let's look at this let's look at just completed listings here actually my bad da, 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 da. Uh, I just want to see completed okay so see see how this one didn't sell um, this one didn't sell he's a he's a doesn't seem like he's a big time guy but you know uh, yeah this one didn't sell but they seem to be regularly selling. I mean, it seems like in every semester that they're selling some. So, um, yeah, let's let's start thinking about what we're going to be doing here. Okay, so look at this uh, tag here. Securement.craigslist.org. Obviously, that's where I'm located because uh, it automatically goes there. Um, okay, so if we come back to the main page, we go to... So this is just sacramento.craigslist.org. So if you want a different city, probably put in the title of the name and then put craigslist.org there. So we could set up a program that automatically does that, create a dictionary that pulls all cities from somewhere and then all city names of the United States, maybe, or maybe of your local areas, and then searches Craigslist through there. Um, so if we click on books, the books section, we get D slash D slash books magazines slash search slash bka i assume that is a general search like tag for you to do maybe like um maybe when it's sorting um what happens when we sort by price let's see if how this tag changes okay so it has bka question mark sort equals price asc so price ascending that's the query um so since they don't have an api we're gonna have to work by um debugging this now i don't know if don't know if by uh basically debugging not debugging but like decoding reverse engineering their um requests that they make so let's go to uh let's see if there's a python uh dependency for craigslist python craigs list so there's a simple craigslist wrapper here which might be good to use Let's see how this works. Sometimes I might be too stupid to use some of these dependencies because they don't document it enough or whatever. Simple Craigslist labs are MIT zero. I don't work for or have any affiliate with Craigslist. This module is implemented for educational purposes. It should not be used for crawling or downloading data from Craigslist. Well, I don't care. I'm gonna... <laughs> Does it do what I need it to do? I don't care. Craigslist community, Craigslist housing, jobs, personals, for sale. That's where we want to go. Um, so field from Craigslist, import Craigslist jobs, Craigslist for sale, Craigslist jobs that show filters. Ah, for sale that show filters category CTA. What's CTA mean? Ah, da, 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 da. That's pretty good actually. Looking for a room in San Francisco, make an engineering internship in Silicon Valley, events with fruit, free food in New York. That's pretty good. Okay. Na, 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 na. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. Should we just build it all ourselves, or should we try to download it and see if we can get it working? It looks like this makes posts, which I don't know. I want to pull from Craigslist. I don't want to uh, post Craigslist. Python Craigslist. There we go. Maybe this is what we want. Uh, da, 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 da. I do not work for. Oh yeah. Blah 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 blah. Let's let's see what the code is. Let's see what the code says here for the Craigslist thing. And so this is what I normally do when I'm, you know, creating programs. But I first see if someone else made stuff for us to use and then if there hasn't been something made already then Ooh, site role is global whatever uh, is that really all you did dude requirements txt setup configuration setup.py 
Yeah, man, well, requirements. So he uses request, beautiful soup, and six. I don't know what six is. No, beautiful soup and uh, request is. Request um, allows you to make requests to a server. Beautiful soup allows you to parse the information you get from the server that you got. Looks like he just has an init and sites.py. Yeah, see, this is... Uh, what, what's this all about, actually? Let's see here. Let's see what global he's using there for. Ah, uh, okay, so this is like the main Craigslist page. Site URL, blah, blah, blah. Get all sites. Response equals request. Get all sites URL. Responses that race for status or something failed. Yeah, whatever. Soup equals this. Sites equals set for box and soup dot find all. Class box. I guess maybe it stores their sites and box categories. Let's look at the um, source here. Mm, Craigslist title. Cool. Control F. Box. Okay, so there's one. Yeah, see, look, it stores all the cities and box tags here. And then what he does is, this, that's what this does at least. So he looks at the box tags, div, class, and box. So div, class, box right here. So this is one div right here. Then he goes to um, for a and box dot find all. He finds all the tags in the box. So these are all the tags here um, in each box. Uh, I'm not sure if that works anymore, actually. Div class box, no, it should. Um, yeah, it should, because it's it's within the div tag. Site equals eight dot eight attributes, href dot split slash slash. Uh, da, 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 da. Sites dot add site, return sites. Get all areas site. Okay, so this looks like a helpful function of this, probably. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know how you're, how you're doing these things, guy. What's your internet look like? Okay, this is a bunch of Pi 2, and man, he could have made this a lot better. Yeah, this is... Okay, this is going to take me forever to piece together what he's done here, because he put all of his code in the init py, and it's just... Jesus Christ. It's just terrible, honestly. Um, there are some contributors to this. I mean, how, how uh, long has it been working? Let's see how long this has been up and running, actually. Let's look at this. Uh, the commits. I want insights. I want contributors. I mean, it looks like, you know... Who's been doing this right here? Julio, Julio Malegria. So he's added like 26 lines. What do you, what do, you do? Uh, Python Craigslist, simple Craigslist wrapper, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, what do you do here, dude? Release. Oh, well, that's all you did there, okay. Hmm. Right now, I'm just trying to piece together if we should build our own thing. Add bundle duplicates to filters. Added info with, about whether post is a repost or not. Fix the small issue with one image post and enter tags and body. Moves a site URL. It's globals. Uh, let's try it. Okay, let's, let's let's look at this code. Let's look at this garbage code and see if we can piece together what the heck is going on. <laughs> okay. Import beautiful soup. Import request exception. Import six. I don't know what six is. Let's look up what's what six is real quick here. Six Python Python. And that's not high school Python, whatever. What's this about? Oh okay, Python two and three compatibility. Library provides utility functions for some smoothing over the difference between the Python versions with the goal of writing Python code that is compatible on both Python versions. See the documentation. Alright, yeah, so that's just for um Backwards compatibility, basically. From dot sites, import get all sites. Okay, so all sites equals this. Okay, so they get all the Craigslist sites from the get all sites function in dot get all in the sites page we were looking at earlier. 
DefVS content. Okay, do you have a um? Where's your main app? Do you have a main here? No. How are they using this? Let me look back at here how they're using this. For Craigslist jobs, Craigslist for sale, Craigslist jobs that show filters, Craigslist sale that show filters. Okay, so they're inputting like the functions, I think. I think they're like pulling the functions from here. Oh, and that's how they're doing it, so that's why you can use it in it. Okay, maybe it's not so bad. <laughs> But I mean, they, they're putting it all in the in it, you know, thing, you know, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Let's see here. Craig is base. Def is valid. Okay, so they put functions and functions, I guess, for, you know. No, no, this is a class, okay. And they put... <sighs> Craigslist community, Craigslist base, Craigslist for sale, Craigslist for sale wrapper, extra filters, Default category SSS. Not sure how that worked. Okay, so wait. Let's go back to here. So they're going like Craigslist for sale, Craigslist for sale dot show filters. Um Maybe they're import. Okay, wait, wait. Maybe is it a uh, subclass of freaking? Oh god! I really hate how this is like. <laughs> it's like they just kind of like kept building it into the freaking, you know, stuff whatever the heck they needed. Which I guess they probably did. You are all key. Okay, yeah, they're all they're all inheriting from Craigslist base. That's what's going on here. So Craigslist base, URL templates, default site, blah blah blah. Base filters, query, yeah yeah yada 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 yada. Extra filters equals da. Custom robust result fields sort by options. So you pass in the self, the site, the area, the category, the filters. And the log level equals logging dot warning. Okay, text if it's a valid area. Get results. Sort by. Oh, Jesus, I don't like that. Which means he's got break tags in here somewhere. Ugh. You 
you know what? We're going to make our own thing. Because this, that is terrible. That is garbage. Hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to interpret this website here. So uh, da, 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 da. we're going to do like inspect element. And then I um, wish we could... Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is um, how you basically interpret what, what the uh, server is doing. Um, console, no. Inspector, no. Um, network, yeah, I think this is what we want here. So if we go to... Don't allow, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. See how it's making requests to the server right now? It's making posts. Probably because I'm zooming in and out, you know. Um, by accident, <laughs> not doing it on purpose. Um, Sacramento, let's go there. Let's see what was sent in the request. Nothing. Oh, it's because we're not looking at all of them. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, we made a get request to sacramentocraigslist.org. Okay, let's get started here. So what we're going to do is we are going to start writing our program here. Dun, dun, dun. Thinking we'll set it up with git. With git. Not just actually sure though. Hold on, let me make a new file here. We're going to go to uh, there, 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 new project. Grab Craigslist wrapper. And we're going to put our new git there. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up GitHub desktop because it's easy to use. Let's minimize that screen so that way you don't get inception sickness. <laughs> I'll probably be editing this down quite a lot um, because there's some lag time or whatever. Let's see here. I want to make a new project file, new repository. Repository name, uh, we're going to make it uh, Craigslist wrapper. Um, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to, I <laughs> wasn't done. Okay, whatever. Um, and actually, that's going to be our Git, I think. So let's go to Documents. I think it would be in GitHub. But yeah, okay. So. Oh, wait a minute. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I gotta figure out how freaking <laughs> Git works again. 
Ugh. Oh, what the heck? No, I don't want to do that. Get rid of this. Ah. Remove. Yes, remove. Okay, hold on. File. New repository. I don't want it in Activity Watch. I want it in there. Okay, so. We're just going to call it Craigslist Scraper. How about that? We're not going to make like a. We're not going to make like something that can make requests or anything. We're just going to make something that can get data from Craigslist and use it in some way. So um, this, this is a Craigslist scraper pending. It will search Craigslist for what you want to find and return what it found that matched your search your query. Uh, no good ignores, license, eh, nah. Okay, we're going to create that repository. Now it should be in the git that is here. Right, yeah, yes. Okay, so we're going to make our new file in here. Um, we're going to go IDLE. We're going to go, or actually... I was going to wonder if I want to make Apache, you know, automatically generate documentation for this, but um, I don't think we're going to do that today. So maybe later. We'll, we'll, we'll implement that later. I just don't really know how to use it yet. So um, we're going to go IDLE. We're going to go File, New File, File, Save As. And we're going to go into Documents, GitHub. Craigslist scraper, here we go. So, we're going to name this file Craigslist scraper. And now whenever you're doing programming, you always want to like put a big tag up in here about what the program is. So what does our program do? This program just grabs grabs data from Craigslist, from the Craigslist, <laughs> from Craigslist and um, stores them for the user. Uh, yeah. So now what we want to do is want to make if, let's go another equal to equal to main then we do this functionality so this is going to be allow our program to um, be start from this point basically and we're also going to import arg parse because so we want to be able to is we want to be able to use this with other programs in our system um now what well, arc does it allows you to use um it makes your program makeable from the command line basically so Kind of forget how to use it though. Uh, arguments args equals to parser. 
Now, we do. Hold on, I have I have some examples in here that kind of help me uh, with le relearning this stuff. Um, let's see here. We have go to documents, and I go to GitHub, and I go to. Uh, maybe posting this later, but Python for fun. Look at this guy's. Um, I think I it's this one. Edit. I don't want this to 64 bit because it doesn't really work, but whatever. It's just the RV. No, it's not this one. Link tester. 32 bit. No, not this one. Is it the SSH executor? Maybe. Edit. You have hard parts in here? No. It's one of these has arc parts in it. I'm trying to find which one it is. Maybe it was this one. Um, okay, maybe well, it was none of them. <laughs> hmm. I swore. Okay, let's go to GitHub and see. Um, that's not GitHub. Let's go to GitHub and see where stuff is at. Okay, what was I doing here? Nothing? Okay. I'm listening to some videos right now, too, so it's kind of why it's slow. Okay, what was all that about? Who's up, who's updating what? Uh, whatever. Uh, I want to go to my profile, and I want to go to Python Fun. Uh, I think it's SSH executor. It had to be, because he's using the arguments there, right? Uh. Yeah, here it is. Okay, dev parser. I don't know why I didn't see it last time. So we do parser equals arg parse dot argument parser this. Okay, so let's just copy all this here and copy it to my own because I'm a lazy son of a gun. Okay, and we're gonna look at how he does this here. So basically, he calls the arg parse argument parser and that creates this program for him. But we're gonna use Craigslist. Craigslist. Scraper program, and we're not gonna use any of this stuff here. Um, what do we want our tag to be? We want it to be how? Basically, how do we want to access this stuff? We got to think about how Craigslist works, basically. So, I guess we could pass in the location URL. So, what we'll do is you do like um, you. And this will be the location URL. This will be the help command. So when you type help, this will tell you what it does. Um, and when you use these flags in the command line, it will um, basically just be like, oh, okay, so you want this flag and pass this stuff to the flag, okay. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to just say, like, uh, help, uh, example, HTTP slash slash Sacramento dot Craigslist dot com. So you go grab your own URL from here, you go here, control C, and then you come back here and um, go like this. So you're gonna pass the URL in there. Now, what we want here is we want required, yeah, I will make it required, sure. And we'll pass in a category too, how about that? Or we'll pass in what we want to pass in. Okay, hold on. So we're gonna pass in like the query. Or um, what we could do, we could pass in regular expression and then, you know, look for that from there. Let's 
do a um, category C command. So these are like two different flags, okay? So like this is like the verbose flag that you could use, or you could use this flag for this command for this thing that you're passing in. You could do dash C or category, and they would they would both work the same. Um, and I think uh, you can provide like a name to this. I forget. Um, I don't know if I have anything here that does that. Um, here, let's look it up real quick. We can go to um, this is good for you to know. So what we can do is we can go to the documentation of the uh, arg parse python three docs. We can just go here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the documentation of arg parse because I know that you can define a name that the arg argument is going to be saved as. Um, and they're just doing simple stuff here. Da, da, da. So like how you can access it, you know. So this will give you like a default that your argument uses if you don't pass anything to it for your flag. Um, let's see here. Where are? How do you name? <laughs> hmm. Looking, 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 looking. I'll basically cut to when we find it. Oh, that was a tutorial. Okay, no, we want this. It's gonna take a second to load. <laughs> da, 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 da. Import arc farce, blah 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 blah. Destination, that's what we want. So that's gonna what we can access the um, call as when in in like when we're done creating our um, we're done creating our uh, basically a parser object. Uh, that's what we can access it as. So we're going to just access it as URL. And then this is going to be dest equals um, destination cat. Dun, 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 dun. So you need a category, you need a URL, and you also need a query. So we're going to start with this. Actually, no, we're going to use a uh, regular expression. So regular expressions allow you to search for um, rejects. Allows you to search for like specific things. Um, And I'm just thinking like abstractly here. Like I'm, I'm trying to figure out like what does my program want to do? What 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 do we want to be able to expand upon? You know, um, wh what do we want to be able to expand upon if we do want to? So we're going to do reg x. So it's for a regular expression. And this is like a shorthand for a regular expression here too. So I guess we should do that here too, just to maintain um, maintain some level of familiarity. Um, so I think what we could do is we could have like, okay, parse argument, and this doesn't have to be um, required. Um, I think that means I have to do like this. So that way, you know, at the end, there won't be a required like thing there. So yeah, so we're gonna have two required arguments of a regular, a query regular expression of rejects and a category. Um, if there's nothing passed, nothing passed as a category, then we're gonna just default to something else. 
Um, okay, yeah, I think that's good for now. So what we can do here now is we can say, okay, I want to be able to find So this is going to be the, the URL is equal to args.url because that's what we named our destination as. Then we can be like, okay, I want the regular expression from args.rejects, okay, because that's our regular expression. Then I also want the, I want the, I want the category. Well, we don't want user because that was from the old one. What's great about parse args is that, like, you know, it's just great, really. It's, like, awesome. Uh, I don't even know how it works, really, but it's awesome. Uh, category. Hard false. Hmm. Make it require true, actually. Simply because, um... Actually, no. I want to test if it has an argument called cat, but I'm not sure how to do that. What's interesting is that it programmatically creates objects for you. So I think it's really cool that um, Parser does that, like Parse. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how they do that, honestly. It's pretty cool, though. Mm. Thinking how we want category to work here. Let's just make it true. So that, um... And we'll store... We'll have a store action of, uh... Da -da 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 -da. We'll have an action that does something, I don't know. I see. So we can do here is we can be like, okay. Part true, but um, action is equal to store underscore false. So what that'll do is it'll be like, okay, um, when you pass the flag of category, see how I want to do that, man. I want to be able to be like, okay, well, did we pass the flag category in? You know what I mean? Because I don't want to have to pass C every time. Um, there has to be like a object that stores these things, right? Hold on, let's uh, let's go back up here. Uh, what object are we using? We're using the um, argument parser object. Okay, so control, control F. Yeah, here we go. Uh, these are the functions. I want to know what object it creates. Okay, this is the object. Okay, duh. Okay, maybe the parse args function is what we're looking for, because that's what we're trying to access, right? Yeah, parse args. Okay, so we're going to do control F parse underscore args. 
Okay, wait, wait. I think there's a link to it right there. Yeah, right there. Okay. Ah, see? Right here. So we go vars of args, and then we see. Uh, that it brings us back. Well, that is not, not even part of our parse args, but <laughs> it gave us what we wanted, okay. So if we go to, um, create a scraper and we go to, like, um... Okay, hold on, let's go Z, 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 Z. And we go, um... If... Cat in vars of args, then we do this. Cat is equal to args dot cat. So it's going to check for if cat is a key in the vars args, and then it's going to store that in there. If not, then it won't do that. So what we can do now is we can test this by going to the command line. So we're going to go to cmd. Then we're going to go to cd, well, let's go to dir, cd documents, nope, cd doc, nope, that's not what I wanted, cd dot dot, cd documents, cd get, cd c, dir, and then what we can do is we can go, okay, so that lists the directories in here if you don't know that, so we go python, pi, Three, I think, because I have to do that because I have Python. No, I don't. I don't have Python. So we can go Python. Uh, I'm confused on that because, like, if I had Python 2 in here, it would conflict with that, but I don't have that on a system. So Craig's Craigslist scraper.py. Now we can pass the flag. Okay, so we'll pass the, um, we need to pass the URL flag, so we'll pass the U, and so we'll do just what we had before, which is not that, though. <laughs> not that. Oh yeah, yeah. HTTPS slash slash Sacramento dot Craigslist dot org. Then we do dash R. This is a regular expression. We're just gonna go um, dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign carrot. I think I think that's a thing to search for anything and everything, which doesn't make it, which makes it not matter. So I'll just grab everything, and then we'll also pass a we won't pass the cat flag, so that shouldn't produce an error, but we'll see. More? No. Hold on. What's that about? So I'll just make a quick little category. Plus cat. Okay, hold on. This is just helpful for debugging here. Rejects. Plus Rejects. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do, oh man, I've gotta do all, I'll go all the way back, okay. CD documents, CD get CD C. Then we do Python, Craigslist, oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that gives you the help. So what, what, what we can do is we can do this again, and we're gonna do dash H. And now you can see that the Craigslist scraper program has optional arguments, has H help, has the U URL location, has the rejects command, it has the category command. So we're gonna do that again. We're gonna go, okay, dash C. We're gonna go like uh, dash U, I mean, sorry. We're gonna go like uh, HTTPS slash slash Sacramento, and I'm just copying it from there, so that's cool. Craigslist.org slash dash R. We're gonna do just like uh, dollar sign carrot, but we're gonna put like that in quotes because I feel like it's gonna try to read what I'm trying to put in here. Trace back, Craigslist scraper, not by line 13. Print category, it must be string, not bool. Mm, okay, so we gotta turn this into a string. And we don't need to store a false anymore because we're actually um, checking if it just exists. So we're gonna do this again. Name main is not defined, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna like just comment that out for a second and it should be working fine now. Okay, so we got the URL, we got our rejects and we got category of none. That's good. Because uh, it stringed the none object into the word none, so that's good. Now, if we do this again, and we go now, if we put in the C flag, it should be like, okay, I want the I want books, okay, I want books. Now it says books, okay, good. But I just misspelled category. <laughs> there we go, perfect. Now, um, what else is there to the Craigslist? Craigslist uh, stuff. So there's two like categories here. There's like housing, and then there's a uh, for sale. So if we go here, it goes to for sale, and then search. Okay, it goes slash d. What's the slash d mean? What happens we do like different things here. Twilight Zone. Oh my god, complete Twilight Zone VHS. Who wants that? Um, da -da -da books. So we go books. It goes books, magazines, search, BKA. Um, if we go back, uh, we go to garage sale. It's a search GMS. So it does like garage and moving sales. Okay, so it's the abbreviation of the whole section, basically. Um, I'll go back to here. Uh, so it's like, if we look at this, and it goes books and magazines, so BKA. Uh, da, 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 da. Interesting. Don't know why the slash D is there. What happens if we get rid of that? Let's see. No attribute return to close its home page. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. See, look, he has the ISBN listed here. Has the condition and stuff there, and he has that there. So most people, I guess, list one like, you know, post and do that instead. Um, mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. I'm trying to think here. Craigslist scraper. So yeah, we got this working here. Uh, yeah, it's fine if we use category like that because we're just going to be like, I want, you know, books dash magazines and it's going to search and then BKA. What's the BKA for? Let's see what happens if we do that. Slash SSS. Okay. So 
let's look at this um, source page here. View page source. Uh, you know what we could do is we could call it categories. So that way you can pass like a list of uh, of uh, stuff in, you know. A list of categories you want to look in. That'd be best. Um, let's go to here real quick. We're going to import rejects. Oh, whoops. Import requests. Sorry. Then um, making a. Oh man, I gotta remember all this stuff. I gotta remember how to use the uh, request object here, basically. Oof. That's just fine, you know, I'm just showing you everything, how you, how you do this documentation. You're not supposed to remember everything, you're supposed to look it up and relearn how to use it, basically. All the time. Oh wait, no, no, I don't want that one. I want this one. I want um, developer interface. That's what you want. Because this is going to show you like all these, how to use all, all the functions and whatever. That's why I'm also using this page too. Request that request. Okay, and you pass the method and you pass the keyword arguments in to there. Yeah, okay. Um, so we're going to do this. Import... Uh, Oh, no, no, no. I wanted to test it out. So that's what we're doing right here. We're testing. Um, we are going to test our... So what we can do here is we can go like... Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, so we go method. We go I want to look at not this page. Whoops. I want to look at this page here. I want to do get request of this page. So what we do is we just come up here like this. Bam. Um oh wait, what? View page source. This is the okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna make a request of this page here. And we'll see what happens there. Which I guess I should have stored it somewhere. Damn it. Okay, you can see the response of 200, which is fine. So the request did get through and it didn't make the proper request. Um, but now we're going to store the response into here. And uh, we're just going to recopy this and do it again real quickly. And what we can do now is we can go resp.txt. And it should show us all the tags and stuff that we got back. Yeah. Now, it's not very pretty, obviously. Um, but uh, it's still loading. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so let's import. So from, okay, so from pp print import preprint. Okay, if you don't have all these um, dependencies too, um, simply just do pip install pprint, pip install bs4, pip install uh, requests to get these because you will need them. Um, for lots of things. So if we do a pprint resp.txt, it should be much, much nicer now. It's going to take longer to print, I think, but it should be okay. I might just restart this whole freaking shell because, man, it's going to be slow now. Jesus Christ, okay. Hold on. Let's just restart it. Let's just restart, Let's just restart it, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to come here and we're going to go file. Uh,
Python shell. Yeah, that's what we want. So we want import requests from We're going to do this again. So we're going to go resp equals request method equals. So this explicitly states, like, I want the method variable in this function to get this string. And then I also want the um, URL to be what we had before. So it is um, ya ya. So we're going to go bam. Bam. So now we're going to get our response back. Should be 200. Yep, and if you want to see like what the status code was, you can go like this. See if the, you got a proper response back. Did, so if you get 200, that's a proper response code. It means that the server got it, manipulated the data, sent it back to you, and everything was good. That's what you want to see. Um, so you do pprint resp.text, and you should be able to see everything nice and neatly formatted for you. It's a little bit slower, simply because um, it's pretty printing it for you, one line at a time. But, you know, it works. So if we come all the way up here, we see that we have all these thingies. It's like, well, we got user links, and you got user actions, user posts, blah, blah, blah. So you can post things. So this is like this section here. Mm. Post. Uh... Mm. So this is left bar, yeah. Homepage search, search method get. So this is the um, the search bar right here. And this is the my account link right here. So you see this? This links to your home page if you're logged in. Or the login page for your account. Okay. Mm but we want to find uh, what's for sale here. Like where do they store those tags at? Okay. Real estate for sale. Okay, yeah, so see, that's a little bit naughty. Um, housing. So they store it in a span tag with a class of text option. And they also have it as data category HHH. So if we go here and we go here, the data category right there is HHH, which makes sense now, okay. Now, if we look at the Data all title all housing, um, class H H H search H H H, yeah, class B A N. See, I wish they had an API so we didn't have to do this stuff, but they don't. So, gotta do it. Div class cats. Oh, it's funny, go name mine, but the same thing, cat. Um, housing. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, like, make a program that pulls all these from the API. From the, uh, from this thing here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, like, um, allow the user to search based on the, um, based on the category they pass through so like if they want uh apartments slash housing or they just want this housing section then we can do that um but that's going to be a different uh file i think so we're going to make a new file here new file we're going to save this as um grab so we're going to save this file as file save as 
category getter. Um, Yeah, this says the this says it's just the file that used to grab all the possible categories of your URL, and I think we'll make a class for it. I'm not sure, I'm not really good with classes, so. But um, we do start always with this if underscore underscore name. And this is just like a helper function basically, so we might put it in like a, a utils uh, directory later. Um, run main when we get to it. Um, we're just gonna, you know, we are just uh, going to run this file. It's not gonna have like any um, command like arguments that we want to pass to it or anything. Um, so, what do we want to pass? What do we want to? use this as uh da, 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 da. we want to import the request module again for debugging purposes and then from then import PS4. So, <laughs> trying to think of how we want this to do it. We could just grab all the, um, so let's say we have like, Trying to see how they uh... so let's say it has a class argument object argument as a uh... looks like a CSS object type called class then it's probably a uh, this thingy now if it has a no it's not okay uh, da, 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 da. Mm, I'm looking here. I'm trying to like see how we can uh, separate these class categories and then subcategories. So if the um,
if it's nested within a category class type and okay wait 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 oh. I'm going to go to uh, automatetheboringstuff.com if you don't know what that book is. Um, it's a great book, but it's great reference material for me because I don't remember anything. <laughs> um, but basically it shows you how to use BS4 and uh, all the other stuff in there. So if you go to web scraping and you go to selenium is not what we're using, we're using beautiful soup. So we're going to go to beautiful soup, control F. There we go. So we created a beautiful soup object by doing re re get request raise dot. Uh, yeah, we got to do that too. Or I don't like doing that. Okay. So we're going to just do like, okay. Um, we're going to make a request to the. URL. So we're going to say that URL is equal to. Uh, da, 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 da. Basically, we're doing this so we don't have to like copy everything and write everything down and blah 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 blah. You know, because it's going to be faster than trying to um, do anything. And if they ever change anything, then we can hopefully just use this. And uh, it's like that they add a new category or whatnot then we can hopefully just use this and uh, get the new category that way. Yeah, so it's like that. I mean, I don't know why I'm using it, making a whole like thing in here. I could just script it all out, but eh, you know, like I said, if they change anything, then we'll have this to back up on. Um, equals. We want to make, we want to import requests, not requests. I want to make a get request. I want to the URL called URL. Now we do, we want to make a response object here. <laughs> so we're going to go here. Um, we want resp dot raise underscore four underscore status. So in case we get a bad response, and then a soup object called bs four dot full soup. This will make it easy to navigate the response that we got. So see, this is getting the text that we got from the response. And it's turning into a beautiful soup object. Now, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, so you can select things and whatever. I thought he had like a whole like thing for these things. Ah, here we go. This is what I want to see. So he has like a whole list of stuff that he has. So like you don't have to look it up. And let's not use the CSS class name. I almost said snatch the CSS selector. Uh... I think this is for Selenium though. Yeah, whoops. Shoot. Is there anything for beautiful soup? Okay, let's just test this. So we're just gonna go like, uh, here we go, here we go, here, right here. This is what we wanted. So soup dot select div, soup dot select the element with an ID uh, attribute of author. Okay, hold on. So let's use uh, this. 
So you want the one that uses a... So this is going to be like the categories is equal to, okay, maybe we can just do this. Maybe we can just like find all the things that are in div.class. Okay, so we can do soup.select. Um, uh, maybe it's, okay, hold on. ID attribute. I want to see this class. So I want to. Uh, mm, let's just put in cats and see what happens. Dot. Has to be a quotation. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's run this real quick, see what happens, and we'll print it out too. Okay, we'll pprint it. No module found named request. Import requests, yeah, okay. Try it again. I saw an error up here, so I'm going to try to look at what it is. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll pass in another thing here. So, dot lxml, why not? Okay, look, so we got the div of cats. Da, 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 da. Activities, is that a category here? Let's look at this. Or we'll look back at this. Or we'll just look at this. <laughs> Activities, hey, look at that. So we did good. We did a good job. Um, so it should have all of them. Now we just need to get the text from them. Um, select. I wonder if there's a, um, okay, let's go look at the beautiful soup documentation now. Beautiful soup documentation. Ah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to use an set example. This is a quick start, though. I don't want quick start. I want, like... So if we do like, okay, soup.select cats. Um, I wonder if this will work. A tags. How does it do this? No, nothing. Okay. If we do this, hey, there we go.
We're getting closer. Activities. Now if we do um So we're gonna print the first one dot uh text and we'll see what happens there. Same thing. What? Not exactly what sure happened right there. Activities. So see, we got the category name. There you go. That's how you use uh, Beautiful Soup and Request. Look at that. How many lines of code was that? Freaking four lines of code. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? So we got all the categories in the Craigslist application. Um, might have some bugs in there. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to do a little for loop here to make sure that we don't have any um, any false flags, basically. For cat and categories, pprint. Uh, hold on. Um, dot text. See, look, there's like a character mess up right there. I don't know what that is. Local news. Let's see what that is. Local news. I don't know why it had some character stuff there. Interesting. Um, maybe because of we're using LXML. I'm not sure. Etc. Part time computer crew, and I think yeah, cool, awesome. Like okay, let's see if we cook this. This is, makes different event gigs search EVG. So I think that's like just the general search that would do if you didn't have anything right there. Um. <sighs> The EVG right there is what I'm talking about. So if you just have nothing there, then it just searches EVG, which is just the general search query that you make here. So it just searches all probably. But if you put like, uh, I don't know, like uh, event or something like that, then it puts a query in there, EVG, but it still has the EVG tag, interesting. So we could do is we could be like, okay, so store all those categories, right? Or store. And we can store it into a pickle file, which I don't know. It seems like it was okay. Um, and then if we ever need to regenerate this stuff, we can just like click this file, and it will do it right right away for us. So pretty cool, huh? Um, let's continue on here for a minute. Uh, I think I'm going to take a bathroom break real quick, but other than that, we'll be right back with the program programming shortly.